to my vegan kitchen. So today, guess what we're making? We're making crab cakes. Yep, we're making vegan crab cakes. This is everybody's favorite. This is what you all been asking for. We're gonna make vegan crab cakes from Hearts of Palm. So I'm gonna do it now. Stick with me, guys. Like I said, we're using Hearts of Palms. So let's bust this can open and get started. All right, let's drain the water from the can and let me show you guys, for those of you who haven't seen Hearts of Palms, let me show you what they look like. So sometimes they come with five in the can, but it looks like this can only has four. And they're exactly what they say they are. I can't get it out. They're the heart of the palm tree. So that's what they look like. I'm gonna place it all in the bowl, okay? And I'm gonna break them up. So hearts of palm is one of my favorite ingredients to use for crab cakes. If you've watched me before, you will see that I've used other ingredients to make crab cakes like um, uh, the lion's mane mushroom and other types of ingredients. However, hearts of palm I love to use because you can find it almost in any grocery store and it's cheap, cheap, cheap. Now, I'm using just a spoon, this is like a serrated spoon, like a grapefruit spoon to break it up, but you can also use a uh, potato masher to break it up, or you could just use a fork. I'm just trying to get it into pieces, like the size of what like lump crab would look like. All right, so now that I've had my hearts of palm all broken down, so it looks like lump crab coming so they can see, and it really does look like pieces of crab. All right, so now that we have that, I'm gonna add the next ingredient. So my next ingredient is, and here we go again, for all of you in the comments that's always just making a comment about how I pronounce this, somebody has to one day tell me how to really pronounce this, but it's called furikeki. I'm sure that's what it's pronounced as. That's how they told me it's pronounced in the Korean market. So we're gonna add the furikeki because it is basically a Japanese season seasoning that is made from seaweeds. It has other seasonings in there like salt and stuff like that. So it's kind of like an all-purpose seasoning, but it has the seaweed in there. And what the seaweed does is give it that fishy flavor. So we're going to add that to the hearts of palm. And don't worry guys, I will have the ingredients listed below. So you don't have to worry right now. And now I'm just going to blend it all up. So I'm just going to blend my seaweed mixture with my hearts of palm, and I'm just gonna set it to the side. So while my hearts of palm marinate, we're gonna head over here to the stove. So I have a medium skillet being heated, and inside the skillet I have, come on in, I have red bell peppers and green bell peppers and celery that I have chopped and I'm just sauteing it on medium heat for about three to five minutes. Now, I like to cook these ingredients and get them soft before I actually add them to the mixture. This way you're not biting into hard pieces of vegetables in your crab cake. All right guys, so now that our peppers have softened up, up a bit, I'm gonna head over here and grab the ma marinated parts of palm with the furry keki. We're gonna now add it, I'm gonna turn the flame up just a little bit because this is cool and this is hot and I wanna keep it you know, at a good temperature. So come on in, let me show the people what they wanna see. I'm gonna just dump that right into my pan. Let me get all of the hearts of palm in there. Now hearts of palm really doesn't become crispy or anything like that. So really all I'm doing is just trying to meld these ingredients together and get some heat going into the hearts of palm. So as you can see, as I'm mixing it together, the hearts of palm is gonna absorb all the flavors from the pepper. It's also gonna absorb the flavor from the seaweed and it's gonna really start to taste like crab. 
we allowed this hearts of palm to cook for about three to five minutes. Like I said, it was just enough to get the heat going through it and to get it like nice and marinated and nice and seasoned. That's what it should look like. All right, let's head over back to the bowl that we had the mixture in before. We're gonna pour it right back in that bowl because guess what? It has to cool down. So I place it right back in that bowl and I'm gonna allow this to cool down. Now you can allow it to cool down at room temperature. It all depends on how much time you have. Usually when I'm making this, I'm trying to make this really quickly. So I normally just place it right in the refrigerator, sometimes in the freezer, just so it will speed up the process. So let me do that and then I'm gonna come back and show you the next step in making our vegan crab cakes. Guys, so my Parts of palm mixture have cooled down. I gave it about 10 minutes just to get it to at least room temperature and it feels pretty good. All right, so let me show you what is next. We're going to add in all the other ingredients. So let me get a measuring. All right, so we're going to add in, you know what? Let's start with the mayonnaise first. We're using vegan mayonnaise. Give me two, two seconds here to scrap some paper towel. Let me just wipe my spoon off. All right, again, I'll have all the measurements listed below, so don't worry about it. Just kind of follow with what I'm doing now. So we're adding vegan mayonnaise. We're gonna add some yellow mustard. Let's shake that up, make sure it's not watery. Just a little bit more, add some yellow mustard. We're gonna add some obey seasoning because we still want to give it that like seafood flavor add some obey we're going to add in some just egg i've tried to use other types of binders and you guys can experiment but i wasn't successful using other types of binders like flaxseed to me the just egg just works perfectly so we're going to put a little just egg in here and my just egg is not open so un momento I got the just egg open. Let's put the amount we need in. And I'm just gonna mix that all together. Just kind of incorporate it in there. Okay. Now we're gonna add in our breadcrumbs. And I'm using panko breadcrumbs, guys. Um, it's just lighter, it's more absorbent. It gives the crab cake a lighter feel. So it's not heavy like your usual breaded um, Breadcrumbs, also it's not seasoned, so we're not adding any extra um, salt to the batter. All right, so let's get our panko seasoning in. All right, and let's blend that all together. All right, guys, so once I mix it with the spoon, I get in there, I get my hands in there because I want this to be really incorporated. I want it to really stick to you know, really bind together. Get that batter really in there. You can see the hearts of palm looking like crab right there. So I get it all together and then I kind of just let it sit on the side for maybe just a minute or so, just to get it to really stick, get the uh, breadcrumbs to really loosen up and absorb some of that liquid and get it to bind together. So let that sit for a second and let me get prepared to show you what's next. Over here on the stove, I have a cast iron, iron skillet being heated up on medium, and then I'm going to add some oil. So I'm going to get this nice and hot. You can come in. I'm going to get this nice and hot, get my oil in there, and then we're going to head back over to the counter. Now, let me show you a trick that I do. Now, you don't have to do this, but I find that this gives the crab cake a nice outer crispness and a prettier look and it also keeps it from breaking apart and kind of sticking in the pot and all i do is just use a little bit of flour on just a, a surface i put it in a plate and i'm going to make my patties kind of dip it i'm going to show you how to do it and then i'm going to place it in the pan so you know what let's head on over to this side closest to the pan so it's easy for me to just move right into the pan once i make these patties so I'm going to use an ice cream scoop. That's why my ice cream scoop to make my size patties. So come in so they can see it's just ice cream soup scoop size. 
I just take my patties because they have cooled down. They have really blended together. And I'm just going to make a nice round but kind of flat on the top. There we go. And I just use my fingers just to get more of a flatter side. And then I'm just going to take my crab cake, dip one side, dip, and just dust off the flour. Okay? And then we're going to place it right in the pan. One crab cake down, about six more to go. I was too busy um, making my crab cake patties. These got a little browner than I wanted them to be, but believe me, they're still oh so good. And see how nice and firm they stay together. They don't fall apart. When I tell you this is the best recipe for making crab cakes, you guys are gonna love it. You're gonna love it. And like I said, it's easy. It's cheap, cheap, cheap. You can make this every week. You can bring it to your friend's house. You can make it, you can make it this weekend. You could make it this weekend. I think you should make it this weekend. It's just so good. So let me finish frying these up and then I'm gonna plate it up and then we're gonna taste it. All right guys, the hearts of palm crab cakes are done. It is tasting time. I know you guys couldn't wait for this. But as you can see, I plated it up really nicely. I added some lemons, kind of put it on like a small little platter, added some lemons, some lettuce, some dill. These are from my garden, my balcony garden, if you've seen my other videos. And I love it because it just, it's fresh, it's organic. I love having that little garden out there. I made a little dip with uh, vegan mayonnaise, some relish, and I added some dill to that. But guys, let's taste it, right? This is what we're here for. And it, if you got it really close, you can see you already took a bite. So let's take it from this one that I took a bite from. And as you can see, let me just show you. You see the pieces of um, hearts of palm? It really mimics crab. So let me take a bite. Mm. This is so good. I don't think, if you don't tell them that it's not crab, they're not gonna know. They're honestly not gonna know. The texture mimics crab. All the flavors are there from from crab cakes this is a good one guys this is a good one for you guys to try thanks again for joining me in my vegan kitchen don't forget to subscribe hit the bell so you get the reminders for when i drop new videos and y'all go make this trick them with it take it to your next weekend get together they won't know they won't know all right guys thanks again bye guys